Somehow, it is now June and half the year is gone already. Where did it go? I do not know. I was very busy between moving into a new house, buying my first house, running my businesses, going to work, being sick. I blinked, it was June. Yeah, there's still so much stuff that you guys haven't seen. So here is half a year in my life. We started off the year by moving to a new city, which was Kamakura, which also happens to be home to one of my favorite trains ever, the Anodin. This was so exciting. I had so much exploring to do, so many things to see and learn. Where do I get my groceries? Navigating the train system, coffee shops, all that stuff. There are so many things that can make moving to a new town very scary, but for me, I just enjoy the unknown. And also, I was very lucky that all of my neighbors were awesome. Yes, Duchi. Yes, we got gifts. The neighbors are so sweet. I know, Duchi girl. Only in Japan. I started a whole gift war with my neighbors now, and she brought by a whole bunch of vegetables this morning. Went to the store, got some ingredients so I could make nabe. Just look at this cabbage, guys. <laughs> the funny thing is, like, the window's open. If somebody sees me dancing with some cabbage in a cat suit, this is gonna be hilarious. I wonder what they think of me. I'm babying a piece of cabbage dancing in a cat suit. Your new neighbor. Yes, Duchi, we regulars. Yes, Duchi. We different over here. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Let me cook this cabbage, quit babying it. I don't wanna let it go though, it's just so beautiful. This is the most beautiful cabbage I've ever seen. Oh. Let's cook. She brought by all these vegetables. I'm so happy because they're like homegrown ones. Apparently her dad has a farm and he grows these. Like the dirt is still on them. No nappy for duty. Smart. I was gonna just do this. Oh, yeah. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We did it. You know that, right? Nope. What we did? Door the Explorer. Uh, explore. Just got done getting the AC unit. I am so happy. They're actually coming tomorrow, which is way better than I thought. I thought it was gonna take like a week for them to come be able to install it. Tomorrow. Great. I can finally use downstairs. Not so cheap, but it's mine. So if I move, I'm taking that mug with me. <laughs> I don't know where we going, but we going together. Anyways, we are now at a restaurant right at Inoshima. There's Inoshima Island right there. I have been wanting to go to this restaurant for so long because you like pass by it when you're walking into the beach. It's an Italian spot. Got some salad, pizza, soup, so far salad. I'm excited for this. so funny, when I was like really young, like six, I would eat a bucket of these. My mom's like, seafood's for grown folks because it's so expensive, but these aren't expensive. Oh yeah, wow. Mm. Honestly, this needs some pasta noodles. I never knew garlic soup existed and I don't think I could live without this. I cannot wait to make this at home. This is fire. It's good, right? It's great. Freaking garlic soup with eggs in it and it is so good. I eat raw garlic every day so I'm kind of obsessed with garlic. This is just fantastic. Got some mussels and thankfully Ash doesn't eat seafood so I get to eat it all by myself. Carbonara pasta. Ash is crane game in the peppers. Boop. Not that I don't like pepper, it's just the whole ones. You left one in there. I, got the one. I hope they didn't let me down. It smells like SpaghettiOs. Oh, SpaghettiOs. Why does it smell like SpaghettiOs? They were winning all day! 
That's grown up spaghetti. Oh my god. It's the beautiful music with the sunset and the muscle missing in my muscle for me. Yo. Where you at? Gosh, that sunset is unreal. Honestly, that place was so good and I can't wait to come back and it's right in front of the beach. The pasta I got was absolute trash. Tastes like SpaghettiOs, but other than that, like everything was great. So I find him over here like this, laying okay. down, missing a shoe. Okay. Where your shoe go? Make me run the time lapse. What is going on? Shut your mouth. Breaks like these really keep me going and just remind me of why I work so hard in the first place. I work a lot and I'm usually working towards my goals, which is why I am so invested in the work I do and I'm so busy all the time. If you have any passion that you want to bring to life, I highly recommend you do that by starting a website. And Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video, is a perfect place to do so because they make everything so easy. In this day and age, no matter what venture you're going into, you're probably gonna need a website. If you don't want to design anything from scratch, they have a bunch of beautiful templates to choose from. You can connect your social media accounts to display your posts, and if you get lost, they have 24-7 customer service to help you. We're halfway through the year, and that is still plenty of time to get things going. If you are interested, head over to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove, and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Wow! so beautiful! I mean, and Fuji in the back? Like, I don't know if I'll ever get used to this. This is just insane. Look at these people like lined up. It's adorable. They know a good view when they see one. All right, so I just got ready. I'm headed out to Shinjuku to go do something very strange. Another YouTuber actually hit me up on Instagram was like, hey, come through. Having this whole thing in Shinjuku and uh, I didn't have any work today, so I'm going. But I left my camera in my friend's bag. This camera. Um, do you, do you understand? And all my other little cameras are trash. Might as well just bring an iPhone. So I'm not gonna vlog or do anything like that, but I've been working so much. It's gonna be so nice to get out of the house. It was so nice just to put on a lash. I feel like I've just been literally working nonstop every single day. The only thing I do is like, what am I gonna eat? Okay, work, get some caffeine. Okay, go to bed so you can wake up and work again. That has been my routine for so many days. Oh, snap. It's gonna be so nice to get out. I had to get a Red Bull just to do my hair. All right, let's go. Just got done harvesting some dino kale for dinner. I know it looks like a lot, but you know kale, it shrinks down. And today I am so excited. I'm finally gonna pick my first tomato. And this is like a very special tomato plant. I moved him all the way from my old house in like December. But yeah, the first tomato that came in, it's always deformed. I don't know what it is about beefsteak tomatoes, but the first tomato that grows is always strange shape and it comes like super early before some of the other ones. Anyways, the first tomato on the plant is ready and I'm gonna pick it before the bugs get it. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for dinner, but I'm gonna pick it anyways. I've developed so many different kale recipes, it's ridiculous. But this one is like a lemony pepper kale chicken rice. I don't know, but it's fire. I will uh, put the recipe somewhere. Screenshot it. The sound of a kiss we stole from the night. The self dressing habits of love at first sight. Perfume is drifting in the cool breeze. Dance of two hands, eager to meet. A kiss and two heartbeats ring 
hang out on the street Just kisses and heartbeats don't know how to lie They're watered with tears and blooming the night Kisses and heartbeats don't know how to lie And how to lie, and how to lie, and how to lie All right, I got a small roll of this so that I can like test it out and see if I'll even like it or if it even matches because it's kind of hard. There are about a million different browns in this house, so it's kind of difficult. Okay. Not sure though if I want to put it up here or down here. Wait, I'm getting hot. Ugh. Project updates. Cabinets. Cabinets are uh, the main thing that I'm working on right now. There's a lot of painting that I need to do, a lot of measuring, a lot of cutting. It's getting very messy and it's taking a very long time. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen Kitty like sat in the primer and that was like a whole thing. That just sat on one of my little projects. It had wet paint primer on there and I thought her booty was wet for a couple of days. I was like, why are your booty still wet? And I looked and it's not wet, it's crunchy. So I think she sat on the paint primer. Um, how do I get this off of fur? Can we, how do, guys, what do I do? You don't look at her lady parts, but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Why would you sit on top of things? I put it all the way up so you wouldn't be up there. Come on, baby. We in for some experiments. Oh, you ready? I had to get primer out of her butt fur for like, I don't know, a week. It took so long and now she has just greasy booty because I used oil to get it out and that was like the only thing that was working. Even after washing the booty a million times, it was still greasy. She just got oily butt right now. It's, it's a whole thing. All right, here's today's project. I found these little rubber cushion things at the store. I'm not even entirely sure what these are for, but it has like that half shape. Do you know? Sheesh. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this, but this chick comes and sits her butt right on top of it and got paint primer all on her booty and it took me forever to figure out how to get it off. I didn't want to shave her, but these have like that half wooden dowel shape. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These. So these are wooden. I got these from the store to try and cover up some of the cabinets, but these little wooden pieces are actually kind of expensive and like it started to rack up. And there are so many cabinets in this house. And then I found this amazing plastic stuff. Way cheaper, looks the exact same in the same shape. Like how lucky can you get? So yeah, I'm just cutting these to the size of the cabinets. And then over here, I am painting them all. I think I'm gonna have to do like, three coats maybe? I don't know, we'll see. It's taking a while because this is like rubber and bends a lot. So most paint that you'll put on here is gonna chip. So I have to use primer first and specific primer that's for plastic and then paint it with like two coats and then seal it with a top coat. <sighs> Cheaper, but a lot more work. So sorry, this is probably the worst angle. And there's a lot going on, I'm doing the laundry. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go out and it's actually to meet a YouTuber yet again. This is the strangest month of my life with all these YouTube meetups, generally. I like to stay in my lane, I like to stay in my bubble. However, however, someone I'm actually subscribed to is here in Japan and hit me up like, hey, show me around, I was like, I got you. So yeah, I'm meeting up with Mrs. Kelly Stamps today. I feel so bad, she was here for a minute and she leaves tomorrow. And I was like, today is the only free day I have. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go around the main area, walk around a little bit, maybe eat some food, 
definitely need some coffee. But yeah, not not in like the racist way, but you know, I gotta help the sisters out. I'm so glad to have fellow black girls traveled around in Japan. I've been trying to tell y'all come out here for so long. <sighs> It's the peace. It's the safety. Okay, I feel like it's noisy in here though with this dryer going on. So I'll catch up with y'all when I'm done with my hair. Time to go. I'm totally off topic, but does anyone know what the flip happened to this foaming mousse? It's by Lotte Body. It's the one that I always use. It's been a real struggle not having this and I'm on like my last drop. It's gonna get real frizzy real fast. The last time I was in America, they were sold out. They're like, there's this shortage. Is, is there still a shortage? What's going on? Does anyone know already? I love it. All right, I'm headed out. Um, I'm probably not gonna vlog very much, to be honest. I'm just gonna take her along the main street, try out some of the souvenir shops, maybe get some coffee, stuff like that. But yeah, we were talking and I did find something interesting because I don't speak to many uh, YouTubers. Although I've been in the industry, like the real industry, like TV and film and stuff like that, like YouTube is a completely different world. So it's always interesting to hear what other YouTubers have to say. But yeah, I was just telling her like, hey, make sure you don't tell nobody where I live. She was like, don't worry, girl. I know how toxic the internet is. And I was just like, dang. And that just opened up like a whole can of worms. I don't remember the exact phrasing, but basically she was like, it seems that your audience is so positive. And I'm like, yeah, actually they are. She was telling me about like another YouTuber, I won't say the name, that absolutely hates her audience. And I'm like, that must suck so bad. I'm actually struggling with my bike. Oh, come on, son. But yeah, like seriously, when I say we have family over here, I'm not playing. So I'm so grateful that all of you guys are so positive in the comments because that's what this place is supposed to be. Y'all know I'm not with the drama. I'm not with the negativity. That's just not my vibe. And pretty much when anyone does have something super negative to say, I just block them. You're not about to get the back and forth out of me, okay? You're not about to get any portion of my time, my life. So yeah, I just wanted to say thanks so much for everyone being so cool, supportive, and positive in the comments. I definitely know how toxic the internet can be. Like, top model fans, that's a whole nother... Whew. But yeah, YouTube, let's let's keep it this way. We a family over here. Boo's here. Hey, babe. This is literally Japanese water. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That onizu on a hot spring. I got it myself. And we have some nebchiri chicken. It's probably jidori. Nice juice. I could never be your crap cameraman because I'm just gonna laugh back here the whole freaking time. <laughs> My skinny Mariah Carey lemon. <laughs> Even though you just asked the salt. I know. <laughs> Which is a shield. <laughs> getting her a wooden spoon because this is like, this is the thing. This is it authentic. Okay, wait, I have both of these. Okay, I know this is a good one, but I like the one with the really long handle. Right. I don't know if they have it right now. So they have, oh, wait, is that it? Yes, good eyeball. Okay, we're gonna get her a ramen spoon. Oh, it matches your glasses, this works. Yeah. Okay, this is so corny, but we're gonna do it. Okay, guys, we're gonna have her try umeboshi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a little one. Let's do a little one. Still, are, this one has gold on it, though. Oh, I'm an expensive girl. You are an expensive girl. Yeah, I'm a baby one. But you're so. not going to eat that whole thing. You're going to take one bite. You're going to be like, what the? Wait, why is there an... Oh, Mekon. I don't think... Whoa, is Mekon flavor? That's weird. Mm. Okay. What if that means? <laughs> it's a type of orange kind of little citrus. That's oh, weird. I see that. Do you like orange? Lizard. I do. Okay, we're going to try the Mekon flavor okay. one. It's going to be super something. <laughs> it's going to be weird. I'm not a fan of texture. <laughs> okay, I love her for trying. Thanks for being a fun... Oh, yes. Human. Yeah. Hi, my name is Kelly Stamps, and today I'm trying something new other than overthinking and going to bed at 9.30. This is a plum. What's the name of it? Umeboshi. Umeboshi. This is a beautiful plum. It's going to taste so good. I just know it. I've changed. I'm no longer my boring self. I no longer eat at Texas Roadhouse every day. <laughs> I am cultured. I speak Japanese now. I eat plums off the side of the street. Here we go. I already don't like the way it feels. <laughs> It feels like something, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna A say. ball. Yes. It's been a while since I felt a ball. That's how it looks at me. <laughs> but this just brought me back oh to my, my sinful days. Okay. Oh, oh I know you should have looked at you. You didn't look at you. gotta put the whole thing in your mouth. Okay, at least bite it. Oh my God. I didn't like that. Okay. I'll finish the rest. I swear it's the sourest thing I've ever that tasted. Sure is different. 
Oh, that was not for me. No. You no, know, you know, it was so good. I had to save it for more. Oh, yeah, save it for later, right? Give it away. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> okay, it's basically a pickled plum, but it's so sour. My favorite food group taste yeah. thing is sour. Uh -huh. That is so. <laughs> I was in but She was. I drank around. Yeah, I'm at Sunday Love. I'm going to finish it though. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun to try something new though. Yeah, I'm glad you're down. Now the taste is more. I didn't even drink water yet. I just wiped through my hands because it's a little bit sticky. Wait, where oh, are we? Oh, and there was like no uh, paper towels here, guys, when you went to the restroom. This is a nice filter. Is that a filter? No. Oh, we're just raining. We're just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the sun is setting. A sucker for stationery, especially at Muji. It's just something about the trash bag color. Mm -hmm. You know, it just draws me in. That lunch bag nice reminds one. me of elementary school. <laughs> Where's the to do list I paper? Have so many of these pens. Aren't they great? I love this one in particular. That's nice. Is that the thinner one or the that's the thicker one? <laughs> You're such a nerd. It's a 0 0.5. <laughs> this is close, but that's the memo. No, it's so rude. Do they not have it for real? Oh, that's memo so random. Don't worry. Passport. No, that says something else. Oh, we're so, oh, there it is. Yay! Oh, close. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you're close. That's one. Thank you. I'm a sucker for this paper. Bye -bye. My, my only little Christian black friend. Come back to me. I need to harvest some of my beets. So I grew some beets and, excuse my cat, you know she likes to talk, she's narrating as well. She's saying, girl, you've never grown beets before, what are we doing with these things? And I told her, I don't know. Duchi, I'm trying to figure it out. I grew some beets this season just to like test it out. I tried one, it was pretty delicious. It tastes like deliciousness and dirt at the same time. Do you even need to peel beets or am I just supposed to eat the dirty part? If you're new to my channel, I'm a sick girl, and I'm basically, you know, I look for any health food hack I can find, any natural thing I can do, and I had some beet juice once, and it was actually really good, and I was like, oh, you should try to grow some. Anyways, grew some, here they are, this was the test round, I still have some. After this round, I grew a whole bunch more, and I cannot wait to try them out, but basically I'm trying to get beet juice, or something like that, so I'm gonna try and juice these things. I don't know how it's gonna go, I don't know if my juicer can even handle it, but let's try to make some beet juice. Why? All right, take two. Let's uh, let's try this again with a cup. Oh, it's so messy. This looks like a murder scene. Is it supposed to be so messy? Take 365. I quit. I swear I quit. I just washed the white cover to the couch. And what do I do? Beet juice. Nice, Sunday. This is cursed. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm being haunted. This is not normal. You gotta be kidding. Oh my god. And now the bath is overflowing. Okay, screw this. You're gonna make beet juice and it's gonna be great because it's gotta be. Why is it not working? Oh my god, this is unreal. <gasps> Am I being haunted? What's happening? Something's going on. Okay, did the power go out? No way. Okay, I quit. Officially. Of course it works when I turn off the camera. Making bee juice is officially harder than making gumbo, if anyone is wondering. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna pour a little water in there, cause I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Probably shouldn't have did that. I'm 
just gonna try this right now before things get any worse. It tastes like sweet dirt. do not understand the hype of this camera. It literally looks like trash. So I'm like filming on this Canon G7X Mark III that everybody rants and raves about. This is literally like the worst camera I've ever picked up. Don't buy this trash. There's so many other affordable good vlog cameras out there. You see the quality. Anyways, <laughs> I'm on my way to a photo shoot for a company. I'm in Jugoka. That's why I bought this like cruddy camera because I'm pretty sure I can't film anything. Where am I going? Why must you be so confused? So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to like shoot anything. It's really quick though. It's like three hours and then I'm gonna head home. Space. So I'm all done, that was super fast, but I'm in Jugoka and I freaking love this area. There's so many like trendy little shops. I tell everybody to come here. If you're looking for a place that's like popular and fun, but not so crowded like Shibuya, Shinjuku, all that stuff, Jugoka. Anyways, I'm gonna go shopping because they have a bunch of cute home goods stores around here like this one. Today is special. We gonna see what's so special today. But yeah, I'm trying to like transform my house and get some new stuff, so. I'm just walking here to get inspiration. There's a furniture shop right next to here. Love that shop, super expensive, but I love going in there to like get ideas and stuff. Yeah, this one, they have a lot more affordable stuff. A lot of plants, plant glitz. Okay, I need him, he's a bot. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad. Biggest thing that I need to buy that I've had so much trouble finding is a freaking rug, like in this color. I almost didn't even notice it. I really don't wanna carry this all the way home, but can't leave it here.
many months later. I have this idea for my channel, which I think might be a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. I'm behind the camera because it looked like I got hit by like three buses. But anyways, a lot of you guys actually write me and ask for business advice and I don't mind at all helping people out. I remember what it's like being on the other end trying to get advice and help with my businesses and being ignored. The biggest piece of advice I could possibly give you is do not burn any bridges. You would be surprised at how many people are willing to help you if you're in the right place at the right time. A lot of people will be asking for advice about stuff and asking for help but ain't even got a website. Products look all unprofessional, logo look all unprofessional. Work on you, your business, making it look as professional as possible before you ask anybody for any kind of help. Just make sure you're in the position to receive the help. One of the most difficult things about like starting a business is just getting your products out there. So I thought maybe on this channel we can have a little segment where I introduce some of these really cool products that you guys make, some of you guys' businesses. A while back, one of my subscribers sent me some products from their business, which is called Far East Alchemy. I am so shocked at how amazing their products are. I'm like, bruh, I would buy this in the store. They sent me a bunch of protein powders. They're so delicious and the flavors are so unique. Love the packaging. Like, bro, look how professional this looks. This is so well done. I've only been able to try two flavors, but so far these are so good. White bunny and brown sugar milk tea. We got matcha latte, durian milk tea, very interesting. Thai milk tea, taro milk tea. Bro, these are amazing. I've actually been using them for a while in my smoothies and I'm just so dang impressed. So I'm gonna link them down below. Of course, none of this is sponsored or anything like that. I just think it'd be a good idea to introduce my family, my subscribers' businesses on this channel. So let me know if you guys are interested in something like that, because I think that'd be cool. I actually don't use that at all. I'm ne I do not sit there. Oh, it's good. Hey, <gasps> she came so prepared. She's like, wait, I have sausages in my backpack. It's called longanisa. <laughs> longanisa. Oh my god. For breakfast. <laughs> Who comes that prepared? Like, I'm gonna go over to someone's house. Let me make sure I bring some sausage. She's so cool. <laughs> Let him die. Dessert. Oh, I don't know what these are though. I didn't look up Do what. He? Oh, I can find it because I have that. I want glaze or the glaze, the white one. Okay, but you have to put them for eight, eight seconds in the microwave. <laughs> Why do you know the exact amount? <laughs> That's how you know you eat it too much. Eight um, seconds in oh, the wait, microwave. Hold on, hold on. So here's my Krispy Kreme app. Um, oh my god, get alive. Look at me. I am a top rank on the ranking. <laughs> oh my god. Yay, she brought me, I don't know what to call it, natural peanut butter. I want the honey roasted too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's like real you, peanut you butter. It's just um, freshly, uh, not squeezed. <laughs> right, it is freshly squeezed. It's freshly squeezed. Wait, wait, I'm so excited you're here. So the lady at the Starbucks roastery, yeah. she's deaf. And I was wondering why she came like all the way over there to me to give me my, my coffee. And then she was like doing this. I was like, oh my God, Carla yeah. taught me this. Do you like, know you're welcome? Not your butt cheeks. Not my butt cheeks. Make them clap. Why does it look so pretty? <laughs> Healthy. Healthy after donuts. Yeah. I just said put salt on the strawberries, and I guess we're trying it. And I got some free twerking. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, just put your strawberries in there and just sprinkle it. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Not dipping it. Not dipping. You don't. Oh, not too much. Oh, just uh, just not, a tad. Oh, not, not too much. <laughs> Salted. Okay, but to be fair, that strawberry I had wasn't like sweet. <laughs> so I <I'm> not. <laughs> That was her nice way of saying it's nasty. Yeah. Is it gonna be a no from you, dog? It's a no from me, dog. I don't know why I like it. I'm just trying to figure out why Why on earth would I like this? Ah! It tastes like that Mexican candy. Have you had it? It's like mango with the spicy stuff on the outside? Yeah. No, what's that? I just love I was like, this tastes familiar. Strawberries with salt. Okay, this is kind of a yeah. I like strawberries normally. Someone just got something in the mail and it's not me. Did you? You got something in the mail. This new cat bed that I just bought for her that's supposed to like attach to the window. She's obsessed with windows. Like what cats aren't obsessed with windows? So I'm gonna hook this up. Oh, this looks complicated. Oh, oh. Does everything come in Ikea version nowadays or like 
what? Keep, oh my gosh. Did not sign up for Build-A-Bear. Oh, I hate putting stuff together. Why? Y'all are lazy. These look like nipples. I need to grow up. Oh, okay, I'll be back in, I don't know, 10 hours. you want to be. That I do not know. This is hard. Here come Charlie Gigi. You ready? It's for you. You come up. Did he say? It's for you. I love how she uses everything I buy her. Best cat ever. I want to sue Mother Earth for giving me COVID three times. I'm over it. I don't need it any more times. What happened? And like, why? I'm good. Like, I've had my dosage. You know, I had enough. I, don't, I didn't want any more. I didn't sign up. I didn't get back in line. I'm good, y'all. Why me? <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. The devil's been working overtime in my life, and I don't know why. He likes it here. But you know what they say? Worry when the devil's not messing with you. Cause that means you're doing something right. Come on, coffee. <coughs> what? <coughs> Girl. <coughs> I didn't buy almond milk. My family did. It's a leftover. I wouldn't buy it. But since they bought it, then they left it. I'ma use it. <laughs> My coffee literally just tastes like hot water. <coughs> Guys, like, <laughs> look at this mess. What is even going on? It just looks like somebody ransacked the place, right? It just looks like it got robbed. But in reality, it's just tax season. So, of course, I wait until the last minute to do my taxes, as I do every tax season, and then regret it, because especially this time I regret it, they're due today. But I have had COVID for, I don't know, like seven days already, and it's still going strong, still sick, still jacked up. So I'm like, yeah, now you have to do all this work and finish your taxes with the COVID. Splendid. Nice job, Sunday. Which is the reason why you don't wait till the last minute. <coughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm usually always early with everything I do. I never wait to the last minute with anything. Like even going to work, I usually come to work 30 minutes early just because like stuff happens and I'm not about to be the one. I feel like a lot of us do this. Like we know something needs to be fixed and we know how to fix it, but we kind of don't. <laughs> so this is me finally fixing all of these systems. And honestly, COVID was probably a blessing because I got to sit down and I had free time and I did not have any distractions from work or friends. Like no one could come see me. I can't leave the house. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start lying and just telling people I have COVID when I'm super duper busy because this was the best uninterrupted week of my life. It was great. I got so much done. It was like, girl, you can't do nothing but be in the house. Even when the weather was nice, I was like, well, you better 
there, go drink your coffee out on the balcony because you're not going nowhere else. Comment down below if you lost your taste and if you did, like how long. The first time I got COVID, I lost my taste for three days exactly and it came completely back. This time, I still do not have my taste back and especially in the morning, like when I wake up, I can't smell or taste anything and it's just so miserable. Like eating is not fun right now because I'm just like, ooh, I should order my favorite treat when I'm sick because it'll make me, you know, happy, but like you can't taste it, so. I've been eating oatmeal and bread almost every morning. I don't know how to explain this, but I can taste tastes. Like I can taste sweet, sour, salty, bitter, but I cannot taste any flavor. Like I eat something, I'm like, okay, I know this is sweet. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just like, I know this is sweet. I can't taste like brown sugar, for example, or honey. I can't taste anything. I just know it's sweet. Same with sour. Sour actually is not very enjoyable right now, which happens to be like, my favorite thing of all. Every, anything sour, I will eat. Like, I put lemon juice on everything. This is so miserable. I just can't wait for that part to be over. I'm low-key, though, thinking about, like, lying next month so I can do another whole, like, me time session and tell everybody I got COVID again. All right, let me get these taxes done. I am, I finally found an app, which literally, I'm not joking, took me years to find that will translate documents and receipts because yes, there's plenty of scanning software out there, plenty of scanning apps that will log all of your receipts, but none do them in multiple languages, in multiple currencies. They just don't, so took me a minute. Not sponsored at all. This one's called, I think it's Rydo, R-Y-D-O-O. -O. I just take a photo right here of my phone and then I log them all on the laptop to like categorize them stuff. I'm very paper-based if you... I feel like I have a very old Couldn't style tell. filing system. I put everything in little plastic baggies and label them. But what I did notice is that with time, the receipts obviously get worn down and uh, they're not readable anymore, which is fine for me because they've already been inputted and done. However, if you ever get audited, I'm gonna have to show proof of all this stuff. So I was like, I really need some kind of online system that can capture all these receipts just in case, you know, they start to fade and the government comes for me because I just feel like they will be coming for me. I'm paranoid. Thank you.